good morning everybody we made it out here caught the sun coming up here first time we've been ready to hit this water in a while this early the time get ready to change we got a lot of uh, rain out here a lot of fresh water got a lot of boats out here today by mama sarah so uh but we're gonna try to see what we could do today with all this fresh water but i feel like it might be a sacrilege kind of day so y'all stay tuned for on and the safety corner next <laughs> Another episode of the Urka Dunk on the Go Show. And down here on the north end of Lake Gret, uh, our typical stomping ground here. And uh, even though all of the uh, Sacklay pursuing traffic, uh, for the most part, is over at the spillway area, Chapalaya Basin, because it's red hot over there. Water's falling just right. And uh, people are doing extremely good over there. Even people that are not declared uh, true fishermen are doing uh, a lot, you know. But uh, the thing is, we maintained our issue of coming over here to the north end of Lake Barrett. Not because of, but in spite of. We have such a good time here at Godet's Landing, right here at Pierre Point, Louisiana, right off Highway 70. So um, if you get a chance to come this way, come this way. These people will treat you right, do right by you. Everything's very secure. You can go out and fish with peace of mind that you ain't got to be concerned about uh, the well-being of your vehicles and things such as that. So... Uh, think about it. But anyway, today's uh, safety topic is going to be in reference to preparation. And uh, we want to prepare to have a good day when we come out here with intent and plans to have a good day. So we're going to say to you, uh, do pretty much as we do, as we try to get done, as you make effort to get done. That is, do your preparatory work. Everybody knows issues about your batteries and make sure your batteries are fully charged, things such as that. You don't get stuck out on the water because of a failure to maintain a uh, proper issue with the batteries or full battery maintenance. But the things that we're most concerned about right now is when you're transporting your boat to the locations you intend to take it out. Now, the best way I know of one of the uh, very effective ways to ruin the trip is to not get to the water because of an issue of breakdown or some type of outage. And the most common outage that we see has occurred more frequently than not is lighting issues on your boat trailers. Have a policeman or someone flag you and tell you that your boat light trailer, trailer lights are not uh, illuminating or not acting or following the uh, action of the tow vehicle. So we suggest that you go ahead and uh, make issue to check your connectors. Connectors are uh, great culprits uh, for lighting failures. Uh, your bulbs, your sockets on the uh, uh, rear end uh, fixtures back there, light fixtures. Make sure those sockets are oxidation free. Make sure your connections are oxidation free. And one of the best ways of getting that done, effective ways anyway, is to go ahead, clean them up real good with uh, solvent type, whatever you use to clean connectors, electrical connectors a spray, maybe a little brush or something like that. But then put a light coat of dielectric grease on these connectors, your pin connectors. Uh, dielectric grease on your plug-ins, especially where you plug into the back of the tow vehicle. Uh, these things are left unattended many times. And when you have an issue with vibration going down the road, if you have a poor mechanical connection at these sockets, you will have a poor electrical connection at these sockets. 
you will have intermittent failure. If you see your lights blink or flash when you hit a bump, that is a precursor. That's an indicator of problems yet to come. Go ahead and address this issue. Uh, we like to use uh, the dielectric grease because it doesn't have petroleum grease properties. Uh, think about petroleum grease properties like uh, things you would use on your axle bearing and things like, such as that. Uh, those things, when they get heated, they become hot. They tend to get more liquefied and they tend to run. But if you go with a um, dielectric, that's basically a silicon based. And it doesn't run when it gets hot, should it get warm. It tends to uh, solidify more so. And if it does that, well then that stays in place and it does a deal for you. But the trick to using this stuff is a slight film of it. Because dielectric properties in itself are not conductive to electri uh, uh, electric flow, electricity but they will induce by two factors. The elimination of water getting into a particular joint or a socket or a connector. And number two, it eliminates or minimizes the oxidation factor where you get corrosion build up on your pin connectors, corrosion build up uh, where you want to keep this thing free. So if you look at these things, uh, one other common uh, issue that we see going down the highways you so often see a boat trailer pulled to the side. What happened there? Why is the boat trailer pulled to the side? Well, what you have is axle bearing seize up. People fail to put the grease in the little zerk fittings, uh, which are on. Some people call them buddy bearings, bearing buddies or whatever. But the little zerk grease fittings. Make sure you keep your grease fittings uh, up, to, up to standard. But when you put the grease in, whether you use a petroleum-based grease or a synthetic grease, make sure that you don't put so much in application that you burst the seal. If you burst the seal, now you have a migration path for particulate matter, sand, pea gravel, and things to migrate into the hub assembly. And then that's devastating or can eventually be devastating along with water uh, to the actual bearings themselves. So you want to go ahead and look at these things and make sure that you exercise good preventive maintenance and you don't take safety to chance or safety to guess. Make sure you got a plan that works for you, but you've got to work for that. This is Hunk on the Eric and Hunk Show. Have a good day. Well, y'all, that's Hunk in the safety corner. Y'all make sure y'all have y'all checklist put together and uh, make sure everything is in order before you leave the house before you get on the water but uh right now we're gonna go chase these sacrilegs and we're gonna see y'all uh, on the water Yes, we on this water. It looks like a little fog trying to move in there a little bit, huh? 
That's little frog get ready to move out. I tell you what, it's humid, don't it? That's the frog been there all night, huh? It's humid. It's kind of humid right now. A little bit. Well, we ain't been on the water this early in a while, don't it? It's pretty big. Go on. Hey. Let me see. Let me see what the legends say. What time them sack legs gonna start biting, on? Let me see what time it might be now. I got 7 12. First fish will be in the boat by 7 40. On say 7 40, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. I'm watching this clock now. Ooh, ooh. we ain't got long. 7 40, on. You saying we're gonna hit him in the boat in the next 15 minutes, 20 minutes, on? We got running time and we'll slow down. We're gonna slow down the boat. Okay, boat. Yeah, there's some uh, fans of ours over there on from YouTube. Subscribers there. Yeah. Uh, on. Hey. You gotta put them out of there, on. You gotta put them away, bro. You gotta put them away, on. Oh, but you know what, on? We got a lot of fresh water. Right. What do you think about that fresh water, on? I think it's gonna be with the fake. Exactly gonna still be with Sackley's fake. Oh, I'm saying Sackley gonna be with his fake, y'all. Oh, exactly on. Hey. what's the word for the day, on? Huh? Word for the day, rain and shine. It's gonna be a Sackley day. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, say rain and shine, y'all. It's gonna be a Sackley kind of day. Sackalette, yeah. That's a pretty fish, right? First sackalette of the day. That's a pretty one. But we're gonna take her. We're gonna take her. That's a pretty fish. Let me hear that sound. Oh, oh. I don't hear no sound, no. What's going on with that? I don't like that pretty light. Hmm? Fish, y'all. Mess up my line like always. As soon as you get into the sackle, you always one around. Hanging around there. That's what he does. That's okay. He does. Mess up your line. Do all the 
slime all over the mess of my stopper. That's what he does. I don't like that cat feature. Don't mess up that mud open. Oh, here we go. See, don't mess up the mono. Another one, huh? That's another cycle there, okay? Got another one for the deal. Right there's another fish on that stick. They got another one over there, too. Yeah, they got two more over there. Two more over there? That'd be a cycle there kind of day. Cycle there kind of day, huh? You got that one? Another cycle there, okay? Cycle there, another cycle there. That little tree you give us what four fish so far? Might, uh, a little stick. Huh? Catfish, Farita. Yeah, okay, got a catfish on my Marita. Try not to get thin, spined, or whatever. Good little. That's a channel catfish. Uh -huh. Saturday might be that main canal, huh? Hmm? Huh? Saturday might be that main canal. Well, we'll find out, Earth. We're in the right place to do the right thing and find out. Thank you, dude. Huh? We'll get down there and see if we can make it showtime. Uh-uh. Get tangled up in there. If you get off, get off. It's pulling good, bro. It's gonna be a nice little catfish. Right on. That's right you got that. Gorilla line. Gorilla line, y'all. Don't say gorilla line. Catfish. I'm gonna get him a filet or two off of that. Huh? ATV dog. She love them catfish. You know what to do with a catfish. Make a catfish want a catfish, you said, uh-uh. Catfish Cuvillon. Catfish Cuvillon. Yeah, catfish city, huh? Nice catfish. catfish nice catfish. Well, uh, Mama Rita, go get a catfish Cuvillon. You want that catfish Cuvillon? Catfish Cubio. Catfish Cubio. All right, no need kicking now. You're a bona fide USDA certified. Government inspector, member of the Crisco team. Well, that's a good looking tree, right? Well, I agree. You got to hit something you got over there. There we go. I got another one of these catfish. Channel catfish. Catfish, catfish, 
Yeah, it's done. It looks like it's on. Little channel catfish. Get out of here. Get out of here. Rita Aliza. Get out of here. Catfish could be on. Little catfish. Catfish on. Now here for no catfish on. What that is on. That catfish stand tall in the pot. Stand tall in the pot on. Stand tall in the pot, depending on who hand touch it. Ooh. And if ain't the reed hand touch it, it's been touched. Make a catfish go looking for a catfish. I don't think anybody on the planet. Put a potato salad together like a catfish and potato salad. Oh, my day. Listen to that, that Crisco team. They're doing the fight song. Crisco team jumping in the box. Catfish kind of day, y'all. That's what it look like. Catfish kind of day. Get him out of there. Huh? Hope it's a sack of you got. Hope it ain't no catfish. Huh? Ain't no catfish. What you got? Bass. Little bass. Hold him up to the camera. Huh? Little large mouth bass. Large mouth bass. Yeah. What's the matter with him? Why you hit that bait like that? Large mouth bass, huh? Mm hmm? What's the matter with him? Why you hit the bait like that? Let the little bass go on his way. Say bye to him, are you? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Let the little bass grow up and get bigger. For another kind of day. Another kind of day. Look like a catfish kind of day again, y'all. Yeah. Don't look like we gone. Tell what I'm saying. It's it, it no. There's nothing wrong with the catfish. I don't see nothing wrong with the catfish, y'all. Yeah. Oh, nothing wrong with them. Only thing I can find wrong with them. Gotta clean off this line. That's all I ever see. That's the only thing I know is wrong with him. I don't love them catfish, y'all. He show you what to do with them. Yeah, Lake Barrett. Channel Cat. On the beach. It's a but every once in a while, the catfish jump in the way. That's right. What you talking about, huh? All right, Eric. What you got there, on? Huh? Sack of lay. Sack of lay, sack of lay. Sack of lay time. Sack of lay. Late even sack, sack of lay after time. all the rain. Man, we... That's a lot of rain we got there, Eric. Right? Oh, yeah. We had to pump the... Boat out the as Bill jumps. I don't know how many gallons of water we pumped up. I don't know how many gallons of water? I just missed one. Sacklet, y'all, sacklet. Bill sacklet. Bill sacklet. Might be feed time, huh? Who's to say? Who's to say that? Might be feed time, huh? There you go, huh? Get him out of there. Get him out of there. That's another one, Ricky. Okay. You right. Sackle, sackle time, huh? Another nice sackle. Afternoon sackle, huh? Another nice one. That's what I'm talking about. Box look like a sack of leaf box, huh? Exactly, huh? 
Sack a sack a sack a lay by the sack. That's an aggressive bite because he didn't just bite, he ate the bait. He ate it. That's a sack of loo. Would you call that, Eric? Oh, yeah, baby. Is that the one you call the what? Sack a lay, sack a lay on. King sack a lay. That's the king. That's the king. That's a nice sack a lay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Late evening, Zach Mm-hmm. Crisco team captain. Bring him in, Eric. Bring him in. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Nice one. Uh, we couldn't get the cameras out there wet. Out there on the water. But uh, we made it in safely. I mean, when I tell you it's raining, it rain. We got into the sack of lay right when the rain came, but we had to let them go and come back in. But uh, I tell you what, it's been a super nice day, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, what you been, think about it, huh? It's been fantastic. But I'll tell you what, today has been a good day. We caught some pretty sack of lay. And uh, the majority coat was right at the very end of the day when the weather turned it, I mean, turned upside down. But uh, either way, good day. Put it in, Rick. Right? All right. All right, y'all. We're going to head on in down this road right now. Take our time going home. But uh, y'all make sure y'all tune in for the next video. This is the Earth and Unk on the Ghost Show. We see y'all next time. Rock and roll. Rock and roll, Unk.